Cobra Kai is a show that never ceases to surprise its viewers. With interesting and over-the-top characters and their unique emotional baggage, the creators just seem to love messing around with the fans. Sometimes they do this in the form of a returning character. Recently, many fans are convinced that the original Karate Kid's Dutch will make his long-awaited return in the upcoming season. In today's video, let's dive into these theories. Firstly, the Karate Kid fans are convinced Dutch could show up in Season 5. Many of the OG fans are convinced that Dutch Dutch's return to the Karate Kid franchise might finally be happening in Cobra Kai Season 5. Played by Chad McQueen, Dutch was the only member of Johnny's gang of bullies from the Karate Kid who hasn't come back yet. Tommy, Bobby, and Jimmy have all reunited with William Zabka's character in the sequel series, but Dutch remains absent so far. That's why fans can't wait to see him again on screen. Over the course of the show, the creators have found room for several key players from the first three Karate Kid movies. In just a few seasons, several key figures who had been missing from Daniel LaRusso's life for decades have come back into the picture. Kreese, Terry Silver, Chosen, and Kumiko have all made appearances in the series. As of now, only a handful of the trilogy's principal characters haven't been used yet. One of them in particular is Sean Kanan's Mike's Barnes, who's heavily expected to make his Cobra Kai debut when the series returns in September. His arrival in the Valley was set in motion by the ending of the Season 4 finale, and interestingly enough, he's actually one of the two Karate Kid villains who fans think was set up for a season Season 5 role. Numerous theories suggest that Dutch will be pivotal to Kreese's story. This idea has been picking up steam for a while now, and it's fueled by what Season 2 confirmed about his current place in the Miyagi-verse. According to Bobby, Dutch is currently in jail, which is the in-universe reason for why he hasn't been around for the reunion of Johnny's friends. To some, this explanation for his absence perfectly aligns with what the show is doing with Kreese, who has just been framed for beating up Stingray. Since Kreese may now himself be headed to prison, it's being considered a real possibility for a Cobra Kai character to cross paths with Dutch. This, combined with the show's track record for surprise Karate Kid cameos, has given hope to those wanting to see him make an appearance in Cobra Kai. We sure are hoping he actually shows up, but will Dutch actually appear in Season 5? If McQueen were to reprise his role as Dutch in the upcoming season, this would most likely be a detail that the show would want to keep a secret for as long as possible, so a lack of any official announcements on the matter means nothing. But for the time being, Dutch returning to the franchise feels like a pretty unlikely scenario for Season 5. Kreese heading to jail would allow it to make sense story-wise, but the biggest issue standing in the way of Dutch's return is the fact that McQueen has stepped back from his acting career over 20 years ago to focus on race car driving. There have been attempts to get him involved with the Netflix series, but none have panned out yet. Of course, he could change his mind, but the current situation with McQueen makes the chances of that happening pretty low. Bummer. If the Cobra Kai producers were to quietly work something out with McQueen, it could certainly lead to a shocking moment for Kreese story. Meeting Dutch and seeing how his influence has negatively affected his pupil's life has the potential to be an eye-opening experience for him. Depending on what follows, their reunion could serve as yet another step towards Kreese's redemption, and that's something we definitely want to see. Next, what else can we expect from Season 5? The fifth season of the martial arts comedy drama is all set to fly kick into Netflix on the 9th of September, and fans can't get enough of the dojo battles and the interpersonal drama of the Cobra Kai universe. Now, Season 4 left viewers a bit Bit shocked, so the anticipation around the next season keeps getting stronger. The audience wants to see if Johnny Lawrence and Daniel LaRusso will be able to defeat the villainous Terry Silver and John Kreese. Now, if you recall the original Karate Kid series, you know that Daniel LaRusso and Johnny Lawrence are nemesis of each other. 34 years later, the two are getting along just fine and have actually teamed up. In Season 4, everyone is working towards winning the All-Valley Karate Tournament, so we have our protagonists, Daniel LaRusso, played by actor Ralph Macchio, and Johnny Lawrence, played by William Zabka, who decided to train their karate students together to take on John Kreese's dojo. At the end of Season 4, we see that Miguel ends up hurting his back pretty badly, bringing the match to a halt. Miguel is, of course, Johnny's protege. The All-Valley Karate Tournament spans across the last two Season 4 episodes, The Fall and The Rise, with the finale being the longest episode of the season, clocking in at 47 minutes. And now for some other related news. Firstly, Cobra Kai's creator explains how the show continues to honor the original Karate Kid. The mythology of the Karate Kid will always be at the center of Netflix's Cobra Kai, according to the show's creators. As the series enters its fifth season, Hayden Schlossberg and the Cobra Kai writing team continue to reference some important moments and characters from the 80s movies. In the past, classic villains like Terry Silver and John Kreese have returned to challenge Ralph Macchio and William Zabka for the soul of the Cobra Kai dojo, but Schlossberg says the core of the Karate Kid is more than just cameos or returning characters. The creator revealed, you have new 
new characters and with them new perspectives and backgrounds. This expanding world of Cobra Kai continues to create a more diverse universe for the Karate Kid as it continues honoring the principles the original films were based on. He went on to say that each season, by the season finale, there's some crazy things happening and the San Fernando Valley's in Karate War. This is why he fell in love with the Karate Kid movies in the first place. He said that he feels this is the reason the Karate Kid became a global phenomenon, and we couldn't agree more. Plus, Alicia Hannah Kim has joined the cast. Cobra Kai has cast Alicia Hannah Kim for season 5 of the hit Netflix series as the formidable South Korean sensei Kim Dae-yoon. What's more, she factors into Terry Silver's plans for accelerating Cobra Kai's expansion. Working with Silver can only mean one thing, Kim is fighting for the dark side. After getting John Kreese out of the way and rigging the results of the All-Valley Tournament in season 4, it seems Silver will stop at nothing to win. Miyagi-Do Dojo may be out for the count, but Daniel LaRusso has enlisted the help of his former nemesis, Chozen. He plans to take down Silver and bring back civility and safety for the kids of the Valley. As the OG Karate Kid, there's no doubt he'll show Silver who's boss. So while the creators announced Alicia Hannah Kim will be joining the show in Season 5, they didn't exactly specify what role she'll be playing in the story. But fans believe that she'll start off as a minor character that will become a regular and significant part of the show. What we don't know yet is how she'll make a significant difference to the Cobra Kai Dojo. Is she going to introduce a new martial art, or is she going to teach the kids new techniques? Only time will tell. And finally, is Season 5 going to be the last one? When Season 4 of the show was released back in December of 2021, the plans for Season 5 were already announced with it, so we were pretty relieved there's more of the dojo to come. But with Season 5's release date inching closer, and no whiff of another season, we're getting a little concerned that there won't be another installment to look forward to. Season 4 concludes with Miguel going to Mexico to find his father. He leaves a note for his mother, Carmen, who reveals his father doesn't know he has a son. Netflix greenlit the show for Season 5 before it even set the date for Season 4, since they filmed it at the end of 2021, so now Mara Duena knows what happens. Thankfully, the show creators came through and made it clear that they have plans and there's definitely more to come. Whew. John Hurwitz has also said that they've never really said how many seasons this show would have, but at this point, they've written beyond Season 5 and have always envisioned Cobra Kai to be a six-season kind of show. Since writing new characters and bringing them to life has been so much fun for them, the showrunners have decided that they'll just see where it goes for now, and we're praying the creativity in the writer's room never stops flowing. Fingers crossed. And that's a wrap for this video. Do you think Dutch will be in the upcoming season of Cobra Kai? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.